like me myself, I don't have a great interest in it. But I think that could be partially due to the fact that I don't really know anything about it. Like I know like from the news that the politics and who's running it does have a huge impact on everyone's lives. But I feel like I don't have a personal like passion or interest in it because I don't really know anything about it enough to have strong feelings towards it. Yeah, I'm quite interested in it, and I, I know quite a bit because my, my family are quite political, politically aware, but um, yeah, I'd like to learn a bit more about it. My parents are not very political at all. They feel a little bit out of place, I think, because there's sometimes cases of like xenophobia on the Isle of Man, so they don't feel like they necessarily have um, a place to, to speak up about their own political beliefs. They sort of believe in, like, we'll just do our thing. So they don't maybe feel that there's anybody to represent them. Yeah, definitely. Because I have no clue upon who to vote for or who is even running, actually. Um, not very aware, to be honest. It's not really spoken about um, up until now, where obviously we're able to vote. Um, it's never really mentioned before then, during school, or unless your parents are politically involved or know anything, um, like talk about it. Um, it's never really mentioned, so I don't really know a great deal. Yeah, a very basis, basic understanding of it all, but um, I'm not aware of my own um, <laughs> MHK, obviously, so, <laughs> um, but my parents aren't really um, politically orientated, so we're very limited on understanding of it all. I'd say I have like a base level understanding of the sort of political system. I'm, I've never been particularly like passionate about it, but I, I sort of, I am like, I'm aware of what's going on. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I have no clue at all, and I'm not really passionate about it either, <laughs> which is, I don't think is the best thing since I'm like an... I'm a like, citizen in the sense, and I have no clue what's going on apart from like what my friends say or my friend's parents. Well, if they talk about more appealing topics such as you know leisure and um, equal rights with women and uh, minorities, be more um, active on social media as well. I feel like that's a great way to reach young people, and so that we have knowledge about it. There should be something in there to sort of support. Uh, the youth of man in terms of like uh, their like future because the attitude of if you want to sort of be successful in the Isle of Man you have to go to university in England or, or the UK or wherever and I feel like there needs to be more opportunities for people to stay on Ireland but actually they can progress their career and, and have a good future there. Um, yeah I completely agree that we, we need more opportunities to land like more apprentice, uh, apprenticeships more like volunteering places and uh, more places you can get work experience and stuff um, in order to like branch out and not just have university is the one um, place to go. Currently it's probably stuff to do with like people of colour and um, like racial issues as well as like women's rights and um, climate change. I think that the majority of teenagers are you know great work ethic, work ethics, well behaved and add something great to the island but a lot of the adults don't see it because they have a stereotype about the teenage population which is pretty much entirely incorrect. And I think that's also down to the fact that there's not much to do on the island for young teenagers and young adults. Um, I feel like from the ages between, like you were saying, about 14 to 18 there's not much to do until you're going out to town and drinking with your mates. Um, Obviously, there's like the NSC and stuff, but 17, 16 year olds aren't going to want to go to the NSC with their mates anymore. <laughs> I like the ice skating rink when it's here <laughs> in the winter, but can't do that in the summer. Like roller skating rinks, like arcade things. The trampoline parks trampoline they have in the UK are like really fun to go to. Yeah. Especially for slightly younger teenagers, because it's like a space where they can go out with their friends, but it's more of a safe environment. They're not just let loose on the streets in, in the middle of town or something. So it's something fun they can do with their friends when they have the freedom to go out without a Adults, but it's in a more safe and controlled environment. Um, I think like more acknowledgement of it, like widespread, like maybe a few politicians coming into school educating us um, on like what what it is they do, or maybe even learning it in school, because um, we don't really get any education on it. I believe it's more you have to go outside, like go on your own and research it. It's a lot easier to sort of uh, understand what's going on in the UK because there's like a clear party system over there, whereas over here it's all independent candidates, uh, mostly. So you sort of, there's like an extra level to learning about uh, all of the different people and their policies. I want to see someone that is, he's looked at what the youth want and he's kind of looked and said, I want to help the youth get what they want. Because 
normally they tailor to adults and they look towards adults and what adults want or the elderly want and kind of ignore the youth because they kind of think we're still young, we're growing, we're developing. So they ignore our views because they think we're immature maybe. So I, I want someone to tell, tell me kind of what I want to hear. If I can see anyone that deserves my vote, then yes, I will be, but if I don't, I guess I'll save my vote for another time. I will, yeah. Yeah. Um, to be honest, I wouldn't very be much inclined to go out and vote, because, I, as I said, very limited understanding. But I'm not even sure how to register to vote, if I'm honest. Yeah, I think if I if I was more educated on it um, and had a better understanding, then I definitely would. So I probably have to look into that myself, um, but yeah, I'm not really sure at the moment. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I I plan to vote. <laughs> I feel like uh, we need to, I also feel like another thing we need is some more like representation of, of younger people on the Alamand because a lot of the politicians are, are, are older and so uh, we need to have ones that are a little bit younger so that we like they can better understand uh, the problems that young people face.